Welcome, guys, to the Core Blaster Workout. Let's have some fun while we strengthen our core with a blend of exercises and dance moves. First, let's start with a light dance march. March in place, add some flair, and get the blood flowing. We're going to do each move for uh, roughly 30 seconds, some of them 60 seconds. Okay, hip circles. Gently rotate your hips to warm up your core muscles nice and easy. Have fun. It doesn't matter how you look doing this. I always feel silly doing this, but here we are. Let's do this. Okay, now we're going to do some standing oblique crunches. Lift your knee to the side and bring your elbow down to meet it. Feel those obliques working. Can you feel them? I definitely can. Keep going, you are doing amazing. Let's do this. Feeling this in my core, feels so good. I hope you are as well. Just keep at it. This is gonna be about a 60 minute, ah, 60 seconds. Okay, now we're doing some standing toe to arm crunches. Twist dynamically, lifting each knee to the opposite elbow. Imagine you're pedaling a bike while standing. Great job, you're doing awesome. I hope you can feel this in your obliques because you really should be feeling it there. Great job. Keep it up. Just try to have fun with it and relax. Do again, like I always say, what your body is just allowing you to do. All right, we're gonna do some cross body punches. Throw punches across your body and rotate your torso with each punch. Make sure that you're really engaging those core muscles. Can you feel it? Oh yeah, I sure can. Amazing. We are getting stronger with each little move. This up for a little bit longer. And then, ooh, we are going to do some standing knee tucks on each side. Lift one knee at a time towards your chest, engaging your lower abs. To the other side. So we're doing about 30 seconds each on this. Make sure that you are really engaging your lower abs. Now we are gonna do some side step with a knee drive. So step side to side and drive the knee towards your chest as much as you can. Add an arm motion if you'd like. You're doing awesome. Again, we're just kind of trying to do each of these moves for about 60 seconds and that is just enough to engage your core. But it's still like a really light workout here. I love this. It feels so good. Bring them up to the front a little bit. You're doing awesome. Okay. Take a drink anytime you need to. Take a deep breath. Do whatever you need to do so that you can stay in this. Just under 10 minutes for this workout. So you can sneak it in anytime. You can do it during the day. I like to sneak in workouts right after lunch. All right, let's squat down a little bit. We're going to pull our arms out and reach from side to side. Again, you should really be feeling this in your obliques, but also we are strengthening our legs and our core at the same time. If you can pull down to your shin, do that. If you can go down to your toes, do that. If you can only go down to your knee, do that. Just do whatever feels best for you and your body. This up just a little bit longer. Okay, we are going to do some standing toe touches. Reach out for a kick and try to touch your toe with each hand alternating to each side. Again, we're doing this about 60 seconds. Oh my gosh, 
gosh, you guys are doing amazing. It smells so good. I can feel pores getting stronger with each little move. Keep going with those standing toe touches. Great. Now we're going to take a deep breath in here. Kind of just get ready for a little cool down. We're just going to kind of move side to side and do these little dance twists. Relax your arms and cool down gracefully. Can we do that? I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I struggle to be graceful. But, you know, we're all working on it. Just be thankful to be able to move your body right now. I mean, it feels so great. Stretch it out. Now we're going to go down and end with a little child's pose. I want you guys to stretch it out. And we're kind of going to move from side to side. That stretch feels really good. Bring it over to each side. Amazing. These are like so awesome. Pull it up a little downward dog. Just kind of move your arms back and forth to what it allows. And just really stretch out your back here. Again, every time, just do what your body is allowing you to do. Walk on up, and then we're going to take a big 